Good morning, everyone. Um, I thought today would be a perfect day to show you a little updated get ready with me, um, show you some of the new skincare products that I'm using, and also just like a really simple, easy, chill look. All right, so to start things off, um, talk to you a little bit about my skin. I have always had really bad issues with hyperpigmentation, obviously. It's just something that comes with being black. Um, any little bump I get or any a scratch on my face, it will scar and leave post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So I always look for cleansers that are really gentle on the skin, that help brighten the skin and help even out the skin tone. And this is the Hourglass Equilibrium Rebalancing Cleanser. It leaves it feeling really hydrated and refreshed. And you know what? It doesn't leave my skin feeling like I've stripped it of all of its oils. And you know, a lot of um, cleansers that I use, oftentimes I wash my face and I feel so dry and like I just feel like I immediately need to put lotion on after so one thing I love about this one is that I put it on and my skin feels so hydrated after and nice and plump and one thing I noticed which I don't know if anyone else notices when they use this um, cleanser is that you know my face can look or my skin can look a little dull in the beginning and then once I wash it off it looks so much brighter and that's honestly one of the main thing that I've noticed um, so, this is what I start off with. So I just take, well, first I dampen my hands a little bit. Then I take like just a little amount. A little goes a long way. And I just massage my hands together. It's really nice to get that nice milky texture of the product. And then I like to do circular motions on my face. Once I've kind of gotten it everywhere on my face, I will go ahead and just rinse this off really quickly. I like to rinse my face off with cold water so that it helps to de-puff because I'm always a little puffy in the morning. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I'm back. All right, and then I just dab it. Ooh, I always have trouble with <laughs> water dripping down my arms. Um, but, I mean, I'm not kidding, guys. I instantly just feel so much brighter. And um, I don't know if you can see, like I have a bit of hyperpigmentation here, but I've been using this product over the last three months, I would say. And it's really helped to brighten um, my skin. So my next step is to use the Equilibrium Restoring Essence. All right, so with this, I just take a few drops. Kind of rub my hands together. And then I just pat it on my face. So what I really love about the essence is that it acts like a primer for anything that I'm putting on my skin after and really helps everything to sink in. It leaves my skin feeling super plump. It hydrates and conditions, and oh, it just really does wonders for my skin. Also, one thing that I find really cool is that it has blue light protection. So we're always on our phones and all that, and we don't realize how much harm that that is doing to our skin. So this puts a little barrier between that and keeps our skin protected. Next step, I'm going to use one of my favorites. <laughs> it is the Hourglass Equilibrium Day Fluid. Um, you guys know I use this. I talk about it all the time. I'm obsessed with it. One of the things that I absolutely love about the Day Fluid is that it has SPF 30. It is so important, especially for me and any other girls out there that have darker skin tones and even I mean any skin tone but especially darker skin tones because of hyperpigmentation to 
protect your skin. You have to wear sunscreen, otherwise any little spots that you have on your face will just get darker and it'll take so much longer to get rid of them. Okay, and so my final step for the skincare portion of this video is going to be this little secret weapon that I have here. So I just got a puppy and she likes to wake up at 5 a.m. nice and early. I feel like she's prepping me for a baby, <laughs> but I barely get any sleep with her. Um, so this Equilibrium Intensive Hydrating Eye Balm has been my secret weapon to making it look like I've gotten a lot of sleep. If I have to get up early for a shoot, my eyes are so puffy. So I apply this under my eyes and it immediately helps to just soothe my under eyes, help depuff, help with any fine lines that are developing. Um, it's magic and I apply it every night Sorry, there's something in my eye. <laughs> I apply it every night before I go to bed. And also, I do like to take a bit of it and apply it in the morning because I'm obsessed with the texture. So here you can see the texture is super unique. It's very silky. It actually absorbs really easily into the skin. So I'll take a little bit on my finger and then I just like to rub it under my eye Bring it around, it is so soothing. Honestly, I wish I could put this product all over my face because the consistency is pretty, honestly, it's really unique and I'm just like, it feels so hydrating and good that I just like rub everywhere. But um, maybe Hourglass will come out with a product after that you can put everywhere that, that, that is this consistency because it is awesome. Um, all right, so next step, I'm gonna move into a little bit of makeup just to kind of, you know, perfect any imperfections that I have and get ready for the day. So let's move on to makeup. Alrighty, I am ready to do some makeup. So I'm gonna start off with the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I always have probably like three of these on hand um, in my purse or at home somewhere. I like mixing and playing with colors. I always feel like you can never just find like that one perfect color. And I also enjoy mixing and kind of like playing and being creative with products. So I am going to actually take maple um, for under my eyes. And the way I'm gonna do that is just take three dots, or I guess I kind of make lines. And then I like to cover any little spots that I have. It's hard to look in the camera, so I'm looking in my mirror right here. Oh, I think my light changed a little bit in the bathroom. Um, right, so I really just get that in. Do, 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 do. All right, so now that I've got that all blended in, I'm gonna go in with umber. And I like to use this to conceal like the darker parts of my face. So like my forehead, I have a little mark there. This one also has a bit of a more like reddish, um, like really warm undertone to it which I need. So I'll do a few spots that need the darker tone. Basically anywhere that I would contour is where I put this one. Next up, I'm going to be using the Vanish Airbrush Foundation Stick. This one is in the color Warm Almond. And I like to use this hourglass brush, which is so good for applying foundation. It is like the softest bristles and just the way that it applies the foundation onto the skin is super nice. So I'll either take it on my brush like this or you can just dab spots around your face for a lighter coverage like that. And I like to press this foundation into my skin versus like rubbing it. Um, I just feel with hyperpigmentation that the product sits better on the spot and doesn't get moved around too much. So I really just press that in as best as I can. It's so smooth and my skin looks so nice and even. I love it, I can bring it down my neck a bit like that. 
Um, and I'm keeping it super simple today. So let's, well, obviously first I'm gonna powder a bit, super important. So I'm using this Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. So I like to use a translucent setting powder with my concealer brush. Um, depending the kind of look I'm going for. If it's daytime and super natural, I really only like to powder the T-zone and like where it's needed. But if I'm doing more of a full coverage, full glam look, then I'll take um, Hourglass's Dual Ended Brush. It's not right here, it's in my big makeup box. But I usually take that one and I'll do it all over my face just to really set everything in. But since we're being natural today, I'm just gonna use this little wand just to really get in any of those little corners that I feel need to be matted out or mattified. <laughs> don't know the right term. I don't know about you guys, but I always get really shiny in the beginning of my eyebrow. So I'll put a little there. And I love to still leave that in a beautiful glow. So next up, I'm gonna do brows. I'm using Hourglass Arch Brow. This is the color Dark Brunette. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do it in the mirror because I don't wanna mess up my eyebrows. All right, there's my brows. Um, all done, just super simple, nice and filled in. Just to give a little bit more definition. Alrighty, almost done with this look. I just applied a little bit of lip balm. Let me show you guys. It's this lip balm by Hourglass. Um, or it's a lip oil, actually, to be more specific. And it's just like the clear shade. Super nice and hydrating. Um, and then I'm just going to do mascara. And I'm going to call it a day with that. So where is my Caution Mascara? I just had it. Oh, and lips. Of course. Where's my mascara? I just had it. Here it is. So I'm going to be using the Hourglass Caution Mascara. And it is super black, which I like. I'm gonna do this in the mirror too, so I don't make a mess. There we go. And then for lips, I'm going to use the one of the Confession lipsticks from our class. This one is in the color At Night. It's one of my favorite colors. It is so beautiful and I'm just gonna use a little bit. What I love about these lipsticks is that they're super buildable. So for today, I just want a little kind of like cherry stain here just to give a nice healthy look to my lips. So I just dab that on, go in with my finger like that. All right, so that is my finished look. It's super simple, so easy. If I wasn't doing this on camera, it'd probably take me five minutes. Um, I love that I still have my glow here and a nice little kind of healthy lip cherry stain look going on. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this little get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys trying out these Hourglass products that I love so much. To be honest, this whole new skincare routine is something that I now feel like I can't live without. And I also love that it's only like a four step process. I really like, it's really changed and like brightened my skin so much. This I think might be my favorite, the rebalancing cleanser and the eye balm. So if I could suggest any of the products out of all four of them, I would say one of those two. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>